I'm Anil Kumar and in this video, we'll try to understand the terms random variable and discrete probability distribution. Let us begin with a simple example that is we toss two coins. Now when you toss two coins, what are the outcomes? Now in this experiment of tossing two coins, possible outcomes are that you could get two heads, you could get head and tail, tail head or both could be tails. Right? These are the possible outcomes. Now these outcomes form the sample space. So you can say this is also our sample space. Is it okay? Okay. Now what is random variable? Random variable is basically a function which is created from these outputs in the sample space, linking them with some numbers. So we'll talk about random variable first. Now these random variables are normally, or I should say, always designated by capital letter so we'll choose capital letter x for our case and they're defined the definition is such that it links outcomes to real numbers so random variables will actually link outcomes to real numbers so depending in on our interest, we will create a function basically and define x as a function which we are calling random variable, right? So, so x in our case will be defined as a function. We could say number of heads. in this experiment, right? So number of heads is a number, is a real number, right? So number of heads and we are selecting what inputs. Inputs are the outcomes. So in this function, which let me show it here. Uh, so we have a function here. Let me call this as the function f. Right? Now this function has inputs and an output. Output will always be real numbers. The input is the outcomes from sample space. So the input is sample space. You get an idea, right? So, so that, is the, that is the input for us. And the output is all, all kinds of numbers. And that really depends on the random variable or the random function we have defined. So in our case, we are saying number of heads. So, so in our case, the sample space will include all this. That is the sample space. And what is going to be the output? Let me say, what is the result of that? So the result is that you just count the number of heads. So we say X is, is what? So if there are two heads, so we'll say number two is associated with this. One head number one is associated. One head number one is associated. Zero heads. You get an idea, right? So, so basically, we have linked all the outcomes. See what has happened. So we have linked all the outcomes with numbers. Do you see that? So we have linked all the outcomes with numbers. And that is what is random variable and since it is kind of a machine which is converting outcomes to real numbers we actually treat this as a random function so we also call this as random function okay so at times i may use this word random function and it should always be written in capital letter for example x or y or something like this you get an idea right so this is the random variable part and now let's look into discrete probability distribution. Okay, so that's the next part. Okay, now in this particular case, what you saw is that each outcome 
we have interest in finding number of heads that is our interest so that is the function which we define so our random variable is capital X which is number of heads we can see that the number of heads could be 0 1 or 2 correct so basically these are the outputs so these are the so these numbers we normally write lowercase x with i right so where i is number of heads 1 2 0 2 whatever right so in this case these are the possible three outputs is 0 1 and 2 now what we will do here is that these outputs have probability we will associate probability with these outputs do you get an idea so that is the probability distribution so let's talk about probability distribution So probability distribution is writing the probability for our random variable. Do you get the idea, right? So, so in our case, let me just copy this table once again. And this time, I will use the outputs, the real numbers. So we are now using this as the outputs, right? So we'll again make uh, the table. And this time, uh, we'll write x, the outputs of our random variable on the top and then we'll associate probabilities for those right so so this is how we'll do it so we'll have the real outputs which are what which are x i's do you understand so in this case the output could be number of heads we're talking about is that okay zero one or two so we could have zero heads one head or two heads if you are tossing two coins now what is the probability of each what is the probability of each that is what we're trying to find okay so probability of not getting any head so there are four possible outcomes do you see that all four possible probability of not getting a head that means zero heads right is one out of four is it okay now probability of getting one head so that is these two is it okay so that is two out of four and probability of getting two heads is one out of four is it okay so that becomes the probability of getting these heads right so so you'll also notice here that some of these probabilities let me write here now some of these that sigma gives you some right some of these probabilities is how much so if you add them up 1 over 4 plus 2 over 4 plus 1 over 4 purposely I'm not writing 1 over 2 here but it's half right equal to half what you get is 1 right 4 over 4 which is 1 so some of these probabilities is is 1 this is important to note and another important thing to note is that all these probabilities are positive numbers, right? So this is one important thing. And second thing which we noticed here is these are all positive numbers. So we could write that's more important. So, so the second thing which we note here is that the probability uh, of these is always greater than or equal to zero, right? So it is always positive. Do you see that? So these are two things to consider. So order could be this first that second anyway so i'm just writing these dots so in a probability distribution we'll have probability of outcomes as per our interest as defined by our function and as we see they sum up to one right so we are taking discrete probabilities now and uh, they're always greater than zero important right now when we say distribution then i think you get an idea we have to display it on a graph is it okay so so let's display it on a graph so what i'll do is on the horizontal axis we can draw these x right and on the vertical axis we can draw mark the probability so we have probability here probability of each outcome which is x i is it okay and these are the values of x i so x i is for us is 0 1 or 2 is it okay so let us say this is 0 and this is 1 and this is 2 in that case the bars showing here will give you an idea of how much each 
outcome is probable, right? So, so we say zero heads is one out of four. So let's say this is one fourth for us, right? So this is one fourth for us. So we say this bar is, is the outcome P zero. Do you get the idea? So P zero is this much, right? So this value is strictly speaking uh, P zero for us. So outcome when, or I could write this as, uh, okay. Uh, so we could write this, this one here. Let me just push it we can write this probability as when the variable x is equal to zero you get an idea right so probability when our random variable x is equals to one and this is the probability when the random variable x is equals to two does it make sense right so it is one fourth, kind of like this okay now probability that we get only one head is is this is one fourth let me write here one fourth okay and then just twice this. So this little bar here, where the height is half, designates the probability that the event x or the variable x has one value, right? And for two, it is again one fourth, right? So, so another bar here, uh, the height of this will represent the probability. You get an idea. Now these three bars are representing discrete random variable probability, right? And the distribution you can see from the graph kind of pattern, right? Do you see that? So that is how these terms are related. I hope this is enough for this particular video and you understand these concepts which we are talking about. So we are saying what are random variables? Random variables are strictly speaking functions which define how we treat each and every outcome as and relate them to real numbers, right? So it is an association of all the outcomes to real numbers. So random variables, as we saw, is a function which relates or links outcomes to real numbers. So that is, that is what it is, right? And discrete probability, we'll do continuous probability later. First, let's understand these concepts probability distribution is first let's find the probability of each outcome of our random variable which is listed here and when you plot it on a graph you can see the distribution right so i hope that helps i'm anil kumar and we'll continue with this you can always share and subscribe my videos thank you for watching all the best